What's up guys, it's your boy PSG Inter. We will briefly talk about Antonio Conte's appointment at uh, Tottenham Hotspurs and how he will line up. So Antonio Conte was appointed as Tottenham manager after Nuno Espirito Santos was sacked after the Manchester United game 3-0. Uh, Antonio Conte has previously had spells in uh, Chelsea, Inter Milan and Juventus. But we will look at uh, especially his Inter Milan departure and why it happened. So why he left was uh, he didn't have a have a pl same same plan as the board. They sold Lukaku, they sold Hakimi and Antonio Conte is as he said himself, he's a serial winner. He doesn't want to manage a team where his superstars will leave because the club can't keep them he wants to be at the, one of the top dogs the club that buys players and keeps its best players so the move to tottenham i don't know if it's that good i mean tottenham aren't the top club they haven't the biggest um, hunger for big trophies they right now we just want to improve and so on and I don't know if Conte is the best for that because when he arrived at Chelsea well yeah he, he didn't have the best team but he he had amazing players like Hazard and so on so it may work at Tottenham because in the ch season before Conte joined Chelsea they were like where did they come from position like 8th ninth or something and he didn't have to play uh, champions league or anything he just concentrated on the league and took them very highly but he came in the beginning of the season now with him just coming now how good will he actually be for tottenham it's a big question mark i believe he will motivate motivate them they will play better of course and uh, yeah let's look at their lineup so antonio conte usually used the 3-4-3 so this is what i've done with tottenham so Loris in goal, three centre backs of Tanganga, Romero, Sanchez, uh, Rigilion, Emerson, and Dombele, Hjordberg, and Son Kane, Lucas, or Bergwijn instead of, instead of Lucas. So this is what he will mostly use. Emerson will, will be amazing as a right wing back because he's much better as a right wing back than a right back. And Rigilion, uh, he's very good offensively, so that will suit him as well. Tanganga, Sanchez, Romero, it's a bit uh, defensive and it will help Tottenham to not concede as many goals and chances as they usually do. Romero will be a very, very good player in that central role and will have a lot of saying. And it will make, because Sanchez, I believe he has made the most error led to goals in the Premier League last season or something. And being in a back three, it will help him a lot. And Tanganga will be able to play much more risk football which he usually plays and Dombele and Hjordberg that's a very good midfield combination with Hjordberg being able defensive and passing it to other players while and Dombele will drive through get the ball to the attackers which are Son, Kane and Lucas Son, Kane and Lucas they will love this formation it's it's much fluid for them as attackers and we saw that with Pochettino Son, Kane and Del Ali. they play the fluid football which which made it very hard for teams to press or mark one of the attackers. So, how good will Antonio Conte's spell be at uh, Tottenham Hotspur? It's a very, very big question mark. I would say the signing is uh, at least a 7 out of 10 because it also makes it very hard for United because they were heavily in for Antonio Conte and with Tottenham going in for him directly. It's very good uh, weakening uh, arrival in the Premier League so I would give Antonio Conte to Tottenham 7.5 out of 10 comment down below what you think about Antonio Conte's appointment at Tottenham Hotspur other than that make sure to like this video subscribe for more content like this but anyways take care peace